Welcome to Tino Tech Hacks. Today we're gonna take you through steps and how to learn how to do animation using Pencil 2D. So if today is your first time that you are here, you can join me and I will take you through. So first of all, you have to go online and download your Pencil 2D app. Uh, let me see. Since I have it already on my PC, I will just search Pencil 2D here, then you click like this. If you are using Windows, you can download Windows 8, 7, 10, then Windows Vista, 32-bit, Mac, and Linux. So, you click on the Windows, then you download it. Alright, after it's downloaded, you're going to extract the files using file extractor like uh, uh, WinRAR or any other zip extractor. You double click here. Then your platform opens. So as you can see from here, we have all the tools that you need from this angle. We have uh, the screen clear tool, which cleans everything you design. For example, if I draw anything here like this, I can just use that tool to clean it off. We have the pencil tool. This pencil tool helps you to do all your designs. Now, when you choose the pencil tool, you can come here and select the size of the pencil that you want. If you slide to the left side, the tip becomes more smaller. If you slide to the right side, it becomes more bigger, as you can see. So depending on what you want to design, you can choose from here the size that you want. Okay. Then we have the eraser. The eraser tool helps you to clean whatever that you design here. You can see, so I'm cleaning everything here using the eraser. You can equally slide it, get it bigger, and then you can clean whatever that you've drawn on the screen. If it's taking too much time for you, you can just go here and then clear, that is if you want to clear all the screen. Okay, the next tool we have is the selection tool. It helps you to select an object. So for example, I drew something like this and I want to drag it. I have to use the selection tool to select it. Then I click on the move tool, which will help me to drag the object to anywhere I want it to go. So these are some of the tools you can see. We also have the pen tool, which we're gonna talk about in, in our next um, lesson. We also have the hand tool, that also help you to move the whole screen. You can see we have the color, we have uh, all the other tools out there. We're gonna talk about them, so don't worry. Okay. All right, then we come down here. We also have our displays here. Then we have our frames here. So if you wanna play an action or animation, you can select the frames per second that you want it to play here. We will talk about that later, or we will learn how to do it. Yep. Now we come down here. These are where we do most of the important things. So we have the bitmap layer, we have the vector layer, then we have the camera layer. We can equally add other layers, like the sound layer, Yes, and then we can equally add more of the original layers that we have. At least there should be one layer when you start to do your work. So you can click on the plus sign and then choose a new bitmap layer. You give it a name. You can also click on the plus sign here, then you choose a new vector layer. You give it a name, you click OK. You can do the same for the camera layer also. You can also click and then choose a new camera layer. OK. So, after that, we come here. We also have keyframes. Each of the layers you are going to choose, there should be multiple frames on that particular layer because the frames are the moving images or the pictures that you are going to draw, one after the other. So, when you click on this, you're going to see that a new frame has been created. When you click this, a new frame will be created until you get to the last point or the last frame you want to create. 
Now, if you see down here, you will see that the frames were laid on the camera layer here. The reason being that I selected the camera layer instead of the uh, bitmap layer. Now, when I come here, I can delete all the layers I have of the keyframes I have created. So I'm going to select the bitmap layer and then I will see that the keyframes will come back to the bitmap layer instead of the camera layer. So let's do this. Let me take this off. Okay. Right. So this is the bitmap layer. Now when I click on this, I'll be creating the layers on the bitmap layer instead of the camera layer. And then when I click on the minus sign, all of them will go back. So I'll be deleting everything I have created, right? Same thing applies to the vector layer. When I click on that, I'll be creating the layers on the vector layer. I'm sorry, the keys on the vector layer. Okay. Let's try something for today. Mm, I just want to throw a stone or roll a ball. So we will do everything on our bitmap layer for now okay i go to my pencil tool i look at the size i want then i draw my first ball after that i come to my keyframes i create a new frame now if i want to see what i am doing i will click here and then the original frame uh, frame that i created and the image that is on the frame will be seen right when i click it again it will be missing i may not be able to see where to draw my next stone or ball so i i gotta keep it there then i draw my second one then i click on the next frame i draw my third one i click Four, I click five, I click six, I click seven, I click eight, click nine. All right, so far that is the number of frames I was able to. I can equally go on and on, but just to make you know what I'm doing or what you can do as a beginner, this is where I will end those frames. Now, I want to play the balls that I have created to see how they are going to roll. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, so I can decide to hide the frames and then I'll just click on the play button and then you can see it move. Did you see that? I'm going to repeat it again. Yeah, that's amazing. Congratulations for creating your first uh, animation. Now I can decide to increase the speed of the frames per second from here. So if I make it 12 frames per second, the speed is going to increase. Can you see that? Can you see it? Yeah. So let me, let me um, um, just loop it and then let's see yeah so it will be repeating itself as you can see from there yes that is amazing congratulations for joining me today on this lesson don't forget to subscribe for more thank you bye bye